Uh, welcome again, everyone, and thank you all for coming out today. I'd like to start things off by introducing everyone you see up here with me. And uh, first, Principal uh, Shoemaker from Killing Creek. Ellen. <laughs> Principal Blow from Denby High School. <laughs> Mr. Pat Howard from Newport New Shipbuilding. <laughs> and I'd also like to recognize Jason Todd from Flat Out Events. We also have some participants from the Nautical Mile and cheerleaders and band members from Denby High School. I see you have welcomed them as well. In our audience, we have our city, uh, our city manager, Cindy Roth. So, why are we here today? We are here to recognize two very important groups of students. And it truly warms my heart to see our young citizens out in the community making a positive impact. The participation and enthusiasm from these kids have more of an impact on the one city marathon than they realize. And it's for that reason we want to show our appreciation with the following awards. First, I'd like to congratulate the kids from Killen Creek Elementary School for having the highest number of participation in our parks and recreation youth programs reading and running initiative. <laughs> this program involves students reading 26 books and walking and or running 25 miles at their own pace during an after school program with a goal for the 26 mile to be the one city marathon nautical mile. Um, at this time, I'd like to present uh, to <laughs> Principal Shoemaker a uh, chance to come up and, and, and talk. Thank you. I just uh, want to thank Parks and Rec for taking this on and working so hard with our students. The before and after school program is a huge success here at Kiln Creek, and it's really thanks to them that all these children did the running and walk reading program with them. Thank you. And I'd like to give you tickets for each one of the students to the uh, movie, the Kiln Creek Regal Cinema, to enjoy with us. Perfect. Thank, thank you, you so much. So much. Thank you all again for your participation. It brings me so much joy to see all of you out here uh, doing the race and our completion and the reading and the running program shows true dedication to your mental and physical wellness, which is very important. And I'm proud of all of you. Keep up the hard work. So let's give them another round of applause. Next, I'd like to congratulate Denby High School for winning the Hometown Spirit Award. Come on up. <laughs> Principal Blow, if you'd like to say a few words. I would just like to say, first of all, thank you each year for the One City Marathon. Denby High School uh, takes over the corner of Denby Boulevard and Lucas Creek Road with cheerleaders, students, band, uh, chorus, all of our athletes. And we enjoy each year being able to cheer the runners on. So this year, amongst the other years, we were just thrilled to be a part of the One City Marathon and being able to help out and be a part. So thank you for the award. $500 from the city of Newport News, and we want to. And I just want to thank you for the spirit that you've shown during the race. Thank you. I saw uh, multiple videos of you all uh, on the race day, and let me tell you, you definitely earned that check. <laughs> Your energy along the course makes all the difference to the runners as they pass by, and everyone truly appreciates your support. 
So why don't we uh, give you all a chance to demonstrate that spirit for us right now. Thank you again and congratulations on the award. And I hope to see you all next year as you defend your title. Okay? <laughs> now, before we wrap things up, we have one more special announcement to make. I, along with Mr. Pat Howard here from Newport News Shipbuilding, am happy to announce next year's official marathon date as well as the new logo to com commemorate five years as one. So, we're going to uh, show you this. My name is Pat Howard, and I'm here on behalf of the 2,000 shipbuilders at New Purdue Shipbuilding. 
New Purdue Shipbuilding is proud to continue our partnership with the City of New Purdue's and the One City Marathon races. We continue to make investments to promote positive, and well, positive health and wellness in, to our employees and our community. In fact, I'm, a, I'm part of a brand new employee resource group called Well NNS, or Wellness, a perfect play on words for our company name. Our goal is to emphasize the importance of good health and exercise and, de and to demonstrate our commitment by being involved in things like the One City Marathon, the Hampton Roads Heart Walk, Relay for Right Life, and also hosting our own events like the Shipyard's annual NNS 5K that we had just a couple weeks ago. New Purdue Shipbuilding and Shipyard volunteers also support another organization called Students Run the Streets at two other New Purdue schools, Huntington Middle School and Heritage High School. I'm a volunteer coach for Huntington Middle School and like many of the students here at Kiln Creek and Denby High School, we also run the, ran the One City Races. Thank you again to the city for making events like the One City Marathon possible and we're looking forward to getting more of our shipbuilders involved in these races. Thank you, Pat. I am excited to have One City Marathon back in its fifth year. This time, we're going to have people from all over the country and even the world to come to our city and experience it from top to bottom. I'm also excited because in honor of the fifth year for the One City Marathon, we have decided to add a fifth race, which is the half marathon. So we will now have a full marathon, uh, the marathon relay, a half marathon, and the Maritime 8K, and the Nautical Mile. And this is just going to be great. So we have, have a race for everyone. So I encourage everyone to look forward to another year of exciting events. Registration is now available online at www.onecitymarathon.com. And I hope to see everyone participating in some way. I know I'll be there. So thank you again for coming, and have a great afternoon.